Hello, Pokedeeds and Pokedeets. Um, during the last couple of weeks, we hit one million fifth. <laughs> We will. Yeah. God damn it. Um. We reached 150 subs. Why am I celebrating 150 subs when I could be celebrating, you know, 200, maybe 300 when that comes around? I haven't even got 200 yet, but you know, it's a bit. Well, if you've played Pokemon, you know that 150 is Mewtwo's Pokedex number and Mewtwo is my absolute favourite Pokemon. Yeah. So without further ado, as we do what the title of the video says, fifteen Uh I just roll the intro. Hey! Listen! Alright, fact number one about me is that my favourite drink is Dr. Pepper. Love this stuff. Wanna get that out of the way? Because, meh, this isn't a shameless promotion. I am not getting paid to do this at all. Seriously, this is my favourite drink of personal preference. Um, just because number one doesn't really need to be important. Number two is that not only am I a massive gamer myself, um, I really enjoy manga and anime. Um, my favourite anime is Fairy Tale, uh, hence the necklace here. Where my favourite character is Natsu, Dragnil, because he just reminds me of myself quite a bit. A massive hothead who. Um, the whole want to get into a fight thing isn't my drift, but the whole I fight for my friends and. My friends are my power type scenario. Plus fire. I really do like the element of fire. Yeah. Number three is that my favorite game is not Fire Red. Um, after a bit of debate of my favorite game, my favorite game is actually Partners in Time of the Mario and Luigi series because fuck battery's low. Um, it's because that's um, because Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, Mario and Luigi, it's just hilarious and it's just so well done with time travel and aliens into the simpler storyline of. Plumber saves princess against evil dragon overlord thing. It's amazing the RPG is so simple yet so fun. Fun. You know, the thing that makes a video game a video game? The thing that makes a game a game? You know, like when you play a board game, it's there for fun. And when you've gone to the park, you play games with friends for fun. Games for Fun? Does that not make sense? Now on to number four. Number four is that my favorite cartoon series, not anime or video game because they're in their own separate categories because anime can get really, really violent um, and gory and sad. Um, favorite cartoon is Tom and Jerry. Um, used to love it when I was a child and Actually, still love it to this day. It's just funny cat and mouse, which goes on to our next num number five. Is that I love animals. What animals, particularly uh, cats, preferably tigers. Um, I am a massive lover of tigers. Um, my favorite being Siberian because. Duh. Um, I was born on the Chinese New Year of the Tiger, which isn't the reason why I love tigers. I just really love tigers. 
That's why I have a cat named James. And me too. Number six is uh that my favorite console is the GameCube. The GameCube. The sweet, sweet GameCube. Not because it was the GameCube, it was actually the best console there was at the time. Um, because of the games and Super Smash Bros. Melee! And Mario Kart Double Dash. You know, oh, this one. This one. Favorite Mario Kart as well. Ha! Because Double Dash. Teams. You know, like the Team Pokey Dudes I'm part of. And number seven, I'm British. Um, I wasn't. I didn't choose to be British. I just am. Absolutely hate it here, like most British people do. Um, I mean, I, I am rather British. I uh, I drink tea. I complain about the weather. And uh, okay, I'm not as British as may, may think. Um, I don't wear. Sweats all the time. No, wait, that's just people that try to trend. Um, I stay away from the trends. Yeah. Number eight is the fact that this video isn't that greatly edited. Because I'm running short on time and college is almost finished. Speaking of, number nine is that I go to college. Yeah. Um, I study level 2 media at the moment and next year I'll be hopefully moving on to level 3 games development so I get a bit more of the gist of the gaming industry and um, make some games myself which could be fun. fun. Number 10 is the fact that um, I hate being around people um, not because everyone's a dick um, far from that, there are really nice people out there. It's the fact that uh, I, I'm sort of awkward to talk to about real world problems and stuff. So, if you expect to talk to me, please talk to me about not politics and Something. I, I guess most people don't really like talking about that. Mm. Number 11 is that I am on my Wii U too much. Um, in fact, when I should be doing videos or getting on with coursework, I'm actually spending most of my time on that console playing Splatoon or Super Smash Brothers. Um, but that's not the main thing. Uh, there is one person out there on the Wii U who's found me through Nintendo Smeeverse. Um, a young man named Jack, who I want to thank for actually coming along to that and talking to me through my favourite form of video games, um, Nintendo of course, so I just want to, um, pretty much number 11, if this is, uh, yeah it's number 11, um, it's just me thanking you Jack, um, you truly are a cool dude, and uh, it's people like you that inspire me to do as much as I can with everything that's going around on these particular channels. That was supposed to go in the bin, and it didn't. It was a bit of rubber. There you go. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, dude. Um, and thank you for being one of the 150. Number 12 is that my first video game console was the Game Boy. Um, with a copy of Pokemon Red which I don't have to this day, but I have a copy of Pokemon Red. 
um, in my Game Boy Color, I believe. Um, but it was my first console that I played on. It wasn't mine particularly, but I played on it quite often. And, well, I still have the first copy of Tetris we have, so, yay, Tetris. Number 13, I'm going to talk about something dark. I've been hit by a car about twice and almost hit by a motorcycle once. Um, one was when I was really young, one was when I was in year 7 trying to rush home. That was a bit of a mistake because it was a hit and run. But um, strangely I've survived them all and of course lesson learned Second time this is a charm, um, I've become more wary of traffic and now um, I've said I don't want to drive a car to most people because I'm, um, instead, of, I, instead of being the one that gets hit by the car, I don't want to be the person to hit, the per hit a person with a car. So I don't want to drive, not because I'm scared of what will happen to me, but I'm afraid that I might be a danger to society, so I'm hoping not to drive at all, so I won't. That's how I work. Um, number 14 is the fact that uh, I'm a huge comic not much so much a huge one, but I'm a bit of a comic book geek as well. Um, my favourite superhero is... Oh yeah, Nightwing, um, who was also known as Dick Grayson, who was the original Robin for Batman, and he's not that... he's not well known, but... I mean, come on, he uses weapons. And two steel poles can make a difference. And of course, number 15 is the fact that um, I started the Poke Dudes five years ago in October, and we're actually going to celebrate the five year anniversary very soon. Um, this is more of an announcement than a, a fact about us, me in particular. Um, I wouldn't have started the Poke Dudes without Silver, as without him, we wouldn't have become. Well, um, without him, I wouldn't have the best friend that I have to this day who. Um, we both buck muck about, we both like the same stuff, and we both get in, I mean, each other into something, so um, I guess without me, he wouldn't be known as much as I am, and without him, I would just be some sad guy with a camera, which is rather happy for me, um, but of course, without the rest of the Poke Dudes, we wouldn't be doing this celebration, otherwise it would just be another day of me and Silver just playing Smash Brothers against each other competitively, which I may or may not do on this channel one day, hint hint, wink wink, nudge nudge, um, where we both started playing Smash Brothers on an emulator N64, um, so it's just pretty much with the, what, I believe eight people in the Pokédoos now, um, we have enough to do a player Smash, and of course, all you little Pokédoos and Pokédoodettes, also get a chance to celebrate with us and um, sadly not through live streaming or any sort of live formation but 
I may or may not, if I can find out how, do a live little Q&A with you guys. Um... Um, the 7th of August is when we're celebrating, so if you guys want to tag along, maybe ask some questions, um, we'll have the Q&A up around 5pm to, I don't know, 7 PM on um, of course Greenwich Mean Time because we're British. So I um, that's only if we have the chance, of course. I'll let you know more further closer to the time, so yeah. That's pretty much all I've got from this video. So if you Poke Dudes and Poke Dudes wanna chat to Let's ask a few questions, go ahead, and we'll see you in the next video, which should be the MCM, um, MCM moments with, of course, another YouTuber who's a bit older than me, but, you know, we get along quite well, so, yeah, and may or may not be working with him later. But we'll find out soon enough. So, without further ado, I have been Pokedoo Dread, and I'll see you later. So, don't forget to subscribe right there, and I will well start I'll just let you guys get on move the road. That's enough.